OK. What I'm going to do in this program, if I can, and it's quite difficult, is to show you how to use PowerPoint. This is a very straightforward program, and I'm going to try and look at seven points, seven steps. They are creating a slide, adding a new slide, putting pictures into the slide, maybe adding charts, adding movement from slide to slide, making the text move, changing the background design and then showing the presentation. This is quite a lot to do and to see in a short time, so perhaps you need to, to see this film a number of times, this video a number of times. Now, you need to spend some time looking at the PowerPoint screen. I've divided it into three parts. It's fairly natural parts. One, the basic screen is made up of this centerpiece. All right, that's the slide that you're going to make up. Now, the second part is slide layouts, custom animation, transition. This, are all, this is where your slides line up. There were two there. Next one are toolbars, much like other programs. Standard formatting, drawing. They've got the usual icons on and are very straightforward to use. OK. Seven easy steps. Step one making your first slide. Well, I suppose step one, starting the program. So find the PowerPoint icon on your machine, click onto it, and the very first thing that happens is some picture like this comes up, and then up comes your very first slide. This is a title slide, so put the title of your presentation, perhaps your name, Joe Student here, and then 4 BIM 450 assignment. The finished slide looked like, looked like that, and so the next thing is to go to insert a new slide. What I've done is to go to insert up there and clicked on new slide. And of course then you can choose one of these templates for a new slide. Already you can see I've got my first slide title slide and then the next slide comes on there. Every time I want a new slide I just produce click control and N, M, and then decide on one of these. So it's quite straightforward. OK, so let's move on to the next one. Adding a picture. If we had that slide, we could have chosen a, a picture template slide from here. There it is. You click onto that and then click onto one of these. All right, the picture or the chart. Up comes this, and you get an option of choosing um, a Microsoft picture, a sort of standard picture. Hmm. I chose this one. I think the best of a pretty shabby lot of pictures. I don't know that Microsoft would say that, but you maybe want to use your own picture. So you take your own picture. There's one I took. If you remember that one picture is worth a thousand words, then that helps in presentations. Here's a picture I took at an exhibition that was in the park. It's not my picture. I took this picture. All right. Reminds me of students sometimes, which is perhaps a little harsh on sheep. Alright, let's move on. 
the next thing to do if I wanted to add a chart you saw that that template I used before if I clicked onto charts this sort of thing would come up you'd adjust the figures change the colors animate it and you might get on this sort of chart here an animated chart I've not used these very often but it looks very very effective but in 10 or 15 years I've only ever used it in this demonstration however this one here shows football matches and my Manchester United getting knocked out of the cup mm. I'm sure some people would dis be disappointed alright transition that is moving from one slide to another now transition it says go to slideshow and choose, trans choose transition there but if you press control and F1 and look on this side you'll see this kind of menu from that selection choose one of these I mean box out is one but it's how one slide moves off the screen and the next slide moves onto it and transition goes like this alright so along comes a new slide now what I'm looking at is how to animate the text now again go to slideshow choose custom animation or press control F1 and choose custom animation there and then you've got all these options that you can do with text alright adding effects making the text whiz around, jump around it's a great deal of fun and what it does is to stop your, your presentation from being too boring right now to change the slide design go to format and choose slide design once again Bill Gates gives you some designs that people looking at PowerPoint will have used over the years so sometimes it's better if you use your own pictures again I took this picture in, in an exhibition in the park well there it is that's how to create a slide presentation we've made a slide we've made a new slide we've dealt with um, adding pictures adding charts making the slide move from side to side making the uh, text move and adding new slides that's just about it